Hi guys, welcome to another LOS video. In this one, I've upgraded the GUI and most of the computer. So, yeah, the power switch works and the power lamp works and the dial works. That still doesn't do anything. So, turn on the screen. And there we are. Okay, fun fact. It's running on a 9 volt battery. The whole computer. Except for the screen. So, it might collapse in that case. So, yeah, the new menu system. Got this little dial thing. Let's see if you can see it. Menu. Sticks is annoyingly small. The screen is. So yeah, this like if you have directory of files, there'll be a directory here. As you can see, it's a smooth turner. I will also notice compared to the other one that only has to update this little bit. This text just stays the same, so that prevents all that flickering problem. Also, I have pop-up menus. It doesn't have to be exactly on; it can be like halfway on, as long as it's close to it. You got pop-ups. You have selected do nothing. Press button to exit. There's a better example of it on this. Run GOI test. Okay, so here's some GOI elements that will be used. At the top left you'll see the dial information which controls all of this. So let me turn it down. So basically these two are progress bars, two size types, and these are checkboxes. This is a checkbox, that's a radio box. The difference between them is checkboxes, you can choose any one, and radio boxes, you can only choose one of a list. It's those little circles. You can see an off and on, if you can see it. Okay. And. Another thing, we got pop ups that do things. So, this can run in the background while there's something running, like say you're copying files, just an example. And you know, it might take a while or yeah, some, some loading thing. It happens a lot, I know that. Um, thing is that you cannot do anything while it's loading. It only happens when it's done. So like the power's not changing. Now it is. As it's the same on phones, and it's to prevent unnecessary computation, because otherwise it's computing all this, and you're not even paying attention to it. Well, Windows does that. This doesn't, and yeah, it generally gives me more speed. So that's about it. Now I want to show you something else the internals of the computer. So I'll just unplug the power for safety reasons. Uh, who cares about safety? Just unplug it. Let's see. We can set up this right here. Okay. So these are all the internals of the computer. It's a really big mess, I know. You see this brown cable here. This is the USB programming cable. I plug that into my laptop over there. There. So the camera. To well, change the program on. Over there you see the new Mega. Wired. To quite a few things. The Arduino Uno. Which manages... Um, it's got a watchdog timer. For those geeks who don't know what a watchdog timer is, it's basically something to make sure that the computer is constantly responding. So the Arduino Mega here constantly will send a signal to this, say, like petting, patting the dog, as it's kind of called, petting. Right? Um, and that will make sure that the computer's running. And if the computer freezes, for whatever reason, if there's a problem, a glitch, 
it's frozen, it's program is not running, file not able to open, it's hanging. Then this dog over here won't get pet. Yeah. So it becomes angry, so angry that it turns red, or to be more accurate, turns on the red lamp here, well behind here. But so that shows you that there's it's not working. It also controls the green light and the yellow lights and a few more minor things. I don't know what I'm going to use it for. It could be used for many things, but it's quite useful for certain things. So what else is in here? Lots of wires. See over there is the video control look video cable. Let's see if we can find the video circuit. Right, right there, there's two resistors, a part of the video circuit. That's part of the SD card oops circuit. And um, this switch not connected to anything. Except this yellow wire which doesn't go anywhere. Decided to solder wire on there for no reason. That's the power switch. The power controller is behind the USB. Can't really see it with this camera. So anyways. Let's um, plug it in so you can see what it does when it turns on. Over here is the power controller if you can't see it. Okay, so let's get the USB cable out of the way. Hope we can see everything. Note that there's a green lamp here. Let's turn it off. Also on the screen. Over there. Wait, did you see it on the camera? wasn't zipped in properly. Well, basically, it's a lot of blinking lights that happen when I turn this on. And then stuff happens on that screen. So I turn it off. Or it crashes. So, yeah, okay. That's uh, about everything. Mm. My computer screensaver indicates that this has been over 10 minutes. Still being so good. Okay, so, um. I was gonna ask a question, but I forgot what it was. Oh, yeah, do you like the GUI system? Like the scrolling and... I know that in the main menu, with all the... with the three options, it was a little small. And, you know, like, the text was quite small. Yeah, I, I can possibly change that, you can comment on all that. So, um... Yeah, I think that's it again. So, um, if you want to see more of these LOS videos, because I make these like every week or so, if not less, if not more, more or less, then. Um, yeah, so, yeah, comment, rate, subscribe, comment on the LOS look and stuff, and um, bye.